right there. <coughs> Day 30. Last night was terrible. Terrible video, that. Oh, that's all I'm going to say. Terrible, terrible doesn't even describe the word. It was late, okay? I hope on the now I'm going to try to put sit up. It's not very good. Probably can't see my face. I don't think you can see my face, can you? Now you can see my face. So, this is what we got done last night. We did change it over. We got some new nuts and lock nuts. All then. So, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to drill the hole in this second one, fit the other one, and then we're going to go on this side, we're going to fit the one on this side, and then we'll come over to the build, put the body on, put the tray on, see what this looks like, and then we're going to fit the mud flash. The mud flash are going to be the big piece of this. Well, not a big piece, it's actually a small piece. Well, it's insignificant mud flash. But we don't even need them. Well, we do. We can make an axe for it, which we are. Stop. All right, enough wittering from me. That's all I ever do. Let's get right to the drilling. Oh no, I wonder if I was doing it like this, mind. So I'm only doing it right here because I think I'm going to get a better drill from this end. This is really not how you're meant to do this. If you look, it's still on. I'm drilling it like that through the side. I'm trying to get the drill on a better drilling angle. See, the pillar drill is broke. And you probably can't see us again. But the pillar drill is broke. So, you know, we have to just use this thing. Right, we're in metal now. Sure, we're in metal now. I'm gonna put it there. There we go, right through. There we go. We're gonna have to re-drill it because we've gotta drill it twice to make it work. And there's our pillar drill. And that's what's broke. We're gonna move you to a new angle now. There. It's right behind me, this angle, so I'm probably gonna break something with this angle. This is why I'm not trusted with expensive, fancy things. I break <laughs> things by accident. And do things dangerously. So we're gonna drill this bigger hole. That was a lot easier. That hole, because of the fact that we've already got a small hole drill, so we'll file that. There we go. So now we get the thing, our nut and bolt. So what you want to do is you want to get your nut, 3 mil I'm using, and a lock nut. You want to push that through. You want to then get a normal nut. Now this is where you go wrong. You want to get a normal nut. But because I've already got a one made, we're not going to bother. We're going to go in. You stick it into these. These are wire strippers, these. Well, I'm not even in the view there. These are my wire strippers. I'm just going to use these. The simple. They do the job, so we're going to use them. See, I roughly know where I want it. I don't want to put my leg. That's how I'm starting to find it. I don't want to lose my leg. That'll do. So push it out. It's a bit long. Should be alright. Well, give it a quick. You gotta give it a quick clean up. You might knack your tires otherwise. There we go. Nice little clean up there. So you got that in. You gotta put it in, obviously. And the one, it's not my advice. I wouldn't, I wouldn't use one. I've only got one in for now because that's all they had at all. I had to go pick some more up this morning. I can't tell you where I've wear from, but I did. So you want to use this. I'm using a 732 size socket. Could use your normal size, which is what a normal person would use. But the socket set's got all the old sizes, as they are nowadays. But they work for the RC, so that's why we use them. So that is too long. We're gonna, if I have enough space, we're going to chop it again. I don't think it's going to fit in. It's not. Yeah, so we'll... I'll take it off. I'll thing it. I'll just mark that quick. 
I'll take it back. I'll cut it again. And I'll be right back once I've recut. If you don't remember where we got to last night. Got cold still. And this is what we got. That mounted. And this pretty much mounted. I've got the hot glue redrain. I use a lot of hot glue on these builds. Uh. I do it. <coughs> I let it glue. And then I can test fit and all that. And then, then at the end I'll drill it and screw it all together and all that stuff. But. Oh, I've got a cold still in it. Woman, I was. We'll finish up this bit. Uh, this is where it is mounted. It looks amazing. I think this on the trail, getting new from bumper lights and everything, it's going to look amazing. And once this is done, it's going to be even better. This is going to be the ultimate Land Cruiser RC. And thanks to our, I want to say sponsor, I think is a spot. I think they're a sponsor. Wheel spin models and hobbies. That's right. We ordered this from them on the Saturday. It came by the Thursday. Amazing delivery service. Not long to wait at all. Last time I ordered an RC from a different website from my usual supplier was the Hilux. Took three months to arrive. Three months. Just said the postage it, posted it to the wrong spot, went to order it again. Well, no, we emailed them. S -s Dispatched it again. Took three months to arrive. I waited three months for that. It took a week. Took near time to get that, don't know. Anyway, that still needs stuck in. Back wall needs stuck in around the edge. And we need to screw that in. I don't know what size it is. Uh, I don't know what size it is. But anyway, I'm going to blow my nose. I'll be right back once I get the other mud guard on. And then we'll start faffing on with mud flaps. Because mud flaps are cool. Getting a bit, <coughs> we're getting a bit warm with the door open, so we we've opened it, and I mean, look at that. Two mud guards, full alloy. There and there, it's, it's so cool. Avatar, oh, the old speed drive one. Uh, small, and like it's so smart. It's looking so good anyway. Enough at looking how cool that is. You get to look at the booty of this. Beast. Whilst we put this rubber and wood flaps. I don't know how big I should cut them. Honestly, I should probably cut these with a knife. Probably be better. Roping it. It's proper rubber, this. I'm going to cut that there. I am listening to Absolute Radio, yes, if you can hear that. It's a great radio station. This is the night show that we listen to. I listen to. Absolute Radio night show. I can't remember what it's actually called. It's, it's like the night. It's like from 3 o'clock till it's like 3 till 7. Bush and Richie, it's a great show that. This is so not neat. But I can't exactly make that neat. So that's that, and that's one. We'll cut that in half, I'd say. Cut that there. That's that. Oh, I did not the tripod. And they are actually the same size, you look. They are the same size, that's one each side like so so what we'll do we've got some large clamps hold on jeez we have oh yeah, that was a close one we have some little plastic clamps in here i'm sure of it i don't think i'd open this toolbox it was jack's and then he gave it to me because he needed a bigger box. Oh! Because I've boxes, I can't open the top of this box properly, so we've got to faff on this. Ah! Ah, we all need two. One for each side. Just crack me that box. Jack wanted a bigger box to use. But I, and I wanted a smaller one that would colour match. The workshop, knocking my 
spare material. Straighten you up. I wanted a, a, a small box of colour match to put under there. And Jack was like, what if we swap my toolbox with yours because mine was bigger and all this and that. So we did. Hold that there and we'll put a hole there. There we go. That's that hole. So I'll have to go find a leather pinch for the rubber. I'll be back once I found I think this is spot on this. Look like you go right back to the tray. Magnets, mud guard, mud flaps. Way. Anyway, so that's the end of this one. That's the end of this one. We're gonna leave it as this for now. We're then gonna make a separate video for the tray. That'll be filmed today. At some point, probably not. Uh, that, that is gonna be two separate videos. We're gonna have a backlog videos. We're gonna have three videos out this week. We're gonna listen. Trail run with Jack Bronco. And the tray for that, the canopy and the dog box and everything, just tripped off the tripod, and that's that for now. So I'll see you all next time with the tray that needs to look like, ah, it's not, damn, it's not there. I have pictures. I shall find them. For now, see you all later when this will have a tray.